This is Hamish and Andy. Haim, I know you'll agree with me on this, so mm-hmm. I'm going to go from the top. Uh, I'm a kind of guy that... I agree. I, I agree. <laughs> You're a kind of guy. I am a kind of guy. No, I'm a kind of guy that um, doesn't feel compelled to bring the bins in straight away after bin night. Yep. I'll leave it out another day. I'll leave it out the next day. That's fine. You do whatever you want. But Your bin, s- you run a free range bin. Exactly. And you don't cage it. I'm not going to cage it. I'm going to let it run free. You do not condone cruelty to bins. <laughs> no. Uh, a neighbour of mine, um, it had obviously got their nose out of joint and as I was arriving home, wandered down and just said, hey, uh, would you mind just for the purpose of a clean street and a uh, presentable street, mm-hmm. would you mind just putting your bins away the morning after bin night? Oh, so I guess this guy's never seen Sesame Street. Yeah. Oscar the Grouch has yeah. been absolute feature of that street. He's exactly. a lovable character. <laughs> Sometimes it's great to have a bin on the street mm. so a green monster can live in it and make... <laughs> angry wisecracks at you. <laughs> and um, so I went, yeah, yeah, sure, absolutely. <laughs> of course Wait, not. How did he take that with the raspberry? <laughs> I did the raspberry internally, really. But, uh, actually, I, you can get a lot of spit over your brain. <laughs> I, uh, and has since I've gone, well, no, I'm, the, I'm just going to leave them out full time now because mm-hmm. I felt it was a bit rude from this fellow. I live in an urban setting. There's graffiti everywhere. There's normally a lot of rubbish. I don't think me leaving the bin out is going to change the whole sure, thing. exactly. But he, I suppose he's just trying to, you know, make a little difference in his patch of the world and hope it spreads hmm. to the world at large. Well, it hasn't. It's, we, it's what it has is spread fury, okay. and now I just... Well, he, so he started a war. Well, all, all, I, all that's happened is now I don't never bring... My, my bins are just free-range. Don't out, like authority, do you? They're out in the paddock. They're, they're just doing what they do You're basically best. 2010's Bob Dylan. <laughs> Get your hands off me. Don't tell me what to do, man. Did you go inside? Because I know you and your brother play music. Yeah. So you write an acoustic song with tambourine about, hey, Mr. Bin Man, don't you be giving me your bin rules. <laughs> Cool. Bit of a folk did, protest I, song. I did. I've, I've got it. I'll perfect it over the weekend. <laughs> I'll play for you on Monday. <laughs> but the thing is, Ham, um, <clears throat> he's got me because I have a uh, kind of electric garage. Mm-hmm. And when I got home uh, after bin night this week, both my bins were placed in the middle of the door for the electric garage. Yep. Okay. And so to get in, I have to open the garage. He's making you touch your bins. And and to be honest, they're closer to where they should sit inside my house then rather than... But there. now it's war, so you do things that annoy you to <laughs> hurt the enemy. <laughs> yeah. So do you take them back? To, do you put them across his front <laughs> garage? No, because then I might lose them. Yeah. I've, I've essentially lost. So what have you done? You take them inside? I take them inside. So he got you. He got you with one move. Yeah. So you wrote a protest song for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, essentially. And, um, it's a pretty good move, actually. Our neighbours have done that to us because we've, we've left the bin over the... I've got an apartment building next door to me, mm. so there's like eight bins on the lawn. It's a real mess, Owls. Like, it's a free-for-all. Owls go out Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Mm. They're everywhere. Some have been collected. No one can remember what the <laughs> lids mean for different colours of recycling. Yours go missing, then you steal other people's bins. We've got a backup bin. So we have a recycling bin, a green bin, and we've nicked another bin that we keep out the back as a backup bin. Well, whose bin's that? Somewhat, I don't know, just some poor innocent victim. <laughs> <laughs> Collateral damage, Ando. But 13, that's in six. Because there's so much bin stealing, we had to take matters into our own hands. It's sort of like an apocalyptic film. It was like you hoard, you start hoarding bins. Bins have become a precious Makes commodity. Sense. It's like Mad Max or Waterworld. Like you have to just, bins are the only thing that matter on the planet now. And we stole the bin and hit it out the back. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see too many bins in Waterworld. <laughs> <laughs> At Eskies. <laughs> 13, 10, 60. This guy got the better of me in one move. Well done. Yep. Have you in your own bin war? Have you won a bin war? I've heard of someone burning a bin. What do you mean? Because they were angry at their neighbours for not taking their <laughs> oh, bin. That's, in. A, that's, a, that's taken up a notch from bin wars, but we want to hear about that. That's arson, so don't, we don't <laughs> condone that. If you look up your, uh, if you've got the law handy, one of those books, <laughs> it's illegal. But don't do that. Paul, you're in a bin war. Yeah, like, when that happened to me, to my revenge was I put Vegemite on the handles. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Because um, for anyone every... that's had Vegemite smeared on anything, your first instinct is that's not Vegemite. Yeah, exactly. And, I, and so he'd put the bin out, but then the next week he'd forget to clean the Vegemite. Oh, so there again. Ah, <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Paul, see, what started the bin war? Oh, he just didn't like the fact that my bin was out. Yeah, that's the, see, what are these people? I don't know who these people are. Thank you, Paul. Hannah, what did you do Hi. during a bin war? Hi, guys. How are you going? Yeah. Very good, um, Hannah. I'm a bit of the opposite. We've got neighbours who leave their, their bins out all the time. What's the, what, what's the problem? Nuts. What, what, oh, what's the problem with it? It just well, the problem is our driveways are really close together. Yeah. So when I'm trying to reverse out of the driveway, either I can't see or it's just in the way and I can't get out. 
Yep. So one time I just reversed into it. Just <laughs> ran over it. Yep. Had a bottom of a car anyway, so it <laughs> what, Did you really give it a crack? It would have been sort of like giant tent and bowling. I knocked it over. Yeah. yeah, I knocked it over, left it there. <laughs> okay, Hannah. That's a... When you came home, there was just a chalk outline of the bin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. Barry, you think you've won a bin, you think you've won a bin war? Oh, yes. Yeah, Talk my neighbour used to complain all the time about me leaving the bins out, so I went and made a little cement platform. Oh, you, and so you've, dictated where the bins go. So cement plant for on the side of the street? Yep. So, so you, you made him a podium? Yeah. Yeah, so you're sort of and like, well, you, moment, wouldn't, you wouldn't kick someone off a podium, so they're the king. <laughs> yes. So essentially, and at the moment, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to label which bin goes where. So basically, you've made what looks like a place where a bin should be, and so you yep. can keep them there on the street. That's great. Yep. So quite, you're gonna, you say you're going to label it, so like what place bin here? No, no, I'm going to have recycle, food, and house waste. <laughs> so oh, people Barry. would go, well, you can't ask the guy to move his bins, and he's got them labelled. He's got them labelled. It has to be there, like when we illegally park, Ando, yeah. and you just get out and you write red car park. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's labelled. I mean, it has to be there. Nick, what happened to you, mate? Um, basically, we kept getting a beer, bin stolen, so we uh, decided to take the wheels off it. That's oh. good. Yeah, no one's going to drag a yeah, bin but, back. But is it, uh, oh, but it gets better from there. Okay. Um, they then decide to hit it with a car. Could have been out of the caller. <laughs> so hang on. Yeah. What, what, um, is this a bit of someone bin napping, bin napping uh, obviously taking these, these bins away, but for what reason? have no idea. They used to uh, take it and run them down the street, see how many bins you could knock over on the apartments down the road. Uh, so it's just, just col- really, yeah, just sort of collecting them. So that, you've done the old, if, if they've gone, if we can't steal it, we'll destroy it. Yeah, so uh, then the next time we filled it up with concrete. Oh, did they go with the car again? <laughs> they blew it up yeah, with dynamite. Yeah, they went with the car again and uh, put it this way, the, half their car was left there. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, that's an amazing effort. It would have taken you hours to do that. Uh, yeah, it took, us about, it took about eight of us to drag the bin out onto the curb on bin night, though. <laughs> and was there any of you going, oh, should we... Did anyone decide to call it off, think it was a bit dangerous, or...? Oh, no, we all thought it was a good idea. We had half a skin full of drink in us before we decided Nick, to do uh, it. Nick, we've talked, about, we've talked about staking out our own house because uh, we were getting our bin. Nick, did anyone suggest, do we hang around and video it? <laughs> uh, no, nah, the other idea was just bolt it down. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. the concrete much better, Nick, because you get permanent damage to the car that way. Otherwise, I could have snapped the bolts off. That is sensational. I love that, just because I'm in his position. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mission Andy.